Y'all get ready. Yes, you get ready. Shout out to all my tea sippers out there. We are gathered here today to sip some tea, honey. So make sure you guys have your tea cups ready because you already know this tea is what? Piping hot. Hey, you guys. Happy Friday, TGIF. Anyways, honey, we got to talk about all this mess that's going down on social media. So if you guys do not know, it's been a rough week for the Migos. Let's, let's start there, okay? So earlier this week, we saw the video be leaked out of Quavo and Sweetie. And um, basically, they had that whole elevator incident. They both have since addressed the situation, okay? So this is what Sweetie had to say. Sweetie says, this unfortunate incident happened a year ago. While we have reconciled since, then moved past this particular disagreement, there were simply too many other hurdles to overcome in our relationship, and we have both since moved on. So that is what she said, and then Quavo ended up responding later on. Quavo says, we had an unfortunate situation almost a year ago. We have both learned and moved on from. I haven't physically abused Sweetie, and I have real gratitude for what we did share overall. So that was their response um, because at this point, the LAPD is talking about investigating and possibly filing criminal charges on both of them. So that entire situation is messy. Now, if you guys do not know, take off the usually quiet one in the Migos. Um, it was just revealed today, about an hour ago, that he would not face the charges of allegedly aring a woman at a party last year. So he was accused of this, but obviously they didn't find any evidence, so the charges are being dropped. Now, the crazy thing is this. Remember, they were also accused earlier in the week of jumping Justin LaBoy. Um, or L.A. boy, however he says his damn name, the dude that's always like respectfully, they were accused of jumping him because he's the one who kind of facilitated that whole mess between Sweetie and Justin Combs. But, you know, I still to this day have not seen the video. So at this point, it's just a damn Internet legend. So now this is the craziest thing. If you guys don't know, Little Uzi Vert and um, JT are dating. And honestly, I like them as a couple. You know, I've been seeing their little videos on social media. Uzi seems happy. She seems happy and in love. And I think they're cute. He even asked her the other day, he was like, let's make some brown skinned babies. Hey, baby, I love you. I love you more. Yeah, let's have some chocolate babies. <laughs> okay, I got you. I'm going to have you a few. I said, okay, little Uzi, he ready to be a father and settle the hell down. You know, so I, I thought the relationship was cute and they were, you know, they've had their little back and forth, but for like the past month, it's been like a lot of lovey-dovey shit. So anyhow, little Uzi goes on, he jumps on JT's live and he starts kind of low-key talking crazy to Carisha. You know, you can tell like Carisha is trying to be respectful. I don't know if he was high or drunk, but he was kind of talking kind of sideways to her, even kind of talking sideways to JT. So this raised a lot of eyebrows. I want you guys to go ahead and watch this video of Little Uzi Vert and Carisha and JT. Can I see that phone, please? Is this Carisha? Is this Carisha? Yes or no? Come on, because I already was in the DMs looking pussy and I don't play that shit. Is this Carisha? Bro, stop playing me for I embarrass you on this shit. Is this Carisha? Baby, your woman is saying to give... you on the um passage. To the and you know, you know, you know my whole body and soul, and you know I don't give a fuck about nothing. So listen, is this Carisha? Who's he mean? Carisha, Carisha. That's understood. Carisha, Carisha. Carisha, it ain't even about that though. It ain't even about that, because you know me. I ain't never got to see you just like you ain't never got to see me. Uzi, what it you ain't about, say? I'm about to say it. Shut, just, right let me right. let me get my whole speech out. Because you know I don't do this. Okay? Yeah, I do. It's me. Look at my car. Look at my life. I do way too much. <laughs> so anyway, Carisha. Um, and JT told me, she like, Uzi, you ain't going to do nothing to make it worse. So don't say nothing. But you know, clearly I run this shit. And this is my every mine. So it's just like, Carisha, oh, shut up. Like, uh, JT, 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 JT. If I tell you, if I told you, tongue kiss me on this live right now, you gonna do it. Okay, would well, you say? So we just chill. Like, hey, you saw what I said to you, Carisha, because you left me on scene. 
Yeah, because it's like it's understood. Me and you right, not I friends, and we don't have to be friends. That's it. It's you, not about that, Carisha. You already, I told you, you know, I ain't gonna say it on live. I already told you what be wrong with me. Everybody know what be wrong with me. You don't know me like this. Yeah, but know. exactly. I I never did nothing to you. This your second. No, time you didn't know. You see what I said. You this see, you saw the. You saw time. what I said. So oh, at well. this point, at this point, it's just and like it's my okay. last. And, and look, and it's my last time. Like whether you like it or not, it's my last time. I would never do you like that. I'd never ever do you like that. That's not even in me. Like, I won't do like that. What you do to me? Like, what you did to me? Honestly, tell me what you did to me. All right, me. baby, I see what you want. Relax. Like, what, what you want. Like, I'm not on no weirdo shit. What you did to me? No, I'm just saying, like, you, you up there. Yeah, I am. I am up yeah, there, but I'm, I'm not going to be, I'm not going to go there. You're taking too long with my phone. I'm a, you're not getting on live anyway. That's number one. All right, so you guys just watched that video. So, you know, like I said, a lot of people, there was a lot of rumblings about it. Some people felt the way. Other folks were like, he was obviously playing because near the end, he's like, you know, I love you. And he was trying to see the baby Summer and all that stuff. Well, damn, somebody wasn't taking kindly to what the hell Lil Uzi was saying or doing because Carisha's baby daddy, Southside, he flipped. He flipped the hell out. He went off on Uzi and then told all of Uzi's business and so happened to talk about another Migos. He basically said that he saved little Uzi from being robbed by Offset. I don't know if Offset was trying to take that damn jewel out his forehead, you know, rob his jewelry, but he did mention Offset's name. So again, the Migos are getting tied into some more shit. So watch what Southside had to say. Check this out and I'm gonna come back with the rest of my commentary. Yeah, let me say this one time. Hey, Uzi. Don't don't address none of my bitch, my nigga. You 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 handle your bitch, nigga. You stay on your side and y'all stay on your side. You got one more time to say something. You ain't got one more time to say nothing to my bitch, nigga. I promise you I'm gonna punch your teeth out your mouth. Don't say nothing else, nigga. Nothing else to my bitch, nigga. If you don't like my bitch, don't like my bitch. Let them do them. I don't get in they shit. We don't get in they problems, nigga. Stay the little weirdo you is, nigga. Keep rocking purses. Keep doing that bitch shit you doing. I ain't with none of that plan, bro. None of that. None of that plan. I'm the same nigga that saved you from getting robbed from offsetting them, nigga. Don't forget that. I'm the same nigga. I was the only nigga in the studio that had blicks on me, nigga. I'm the same nigga that kept you from getting your jury took when Merch picking up your jury, nigga. Let's not play stupid, my nigga. Stop playing dumb with me, nigga. Don't play stupid at all, bro. Don't play dumb. You feel me? Go on on with that shit, bro. Deal with your bitch. Fuck with your bitch, nigga. And stay with your bitch. That's all I'm going to say. One time I will slap dog shit out you. I could have slapped dog shit out you at the party the other day. You feel me? You and that motherfucker with security, I don't ride around Miami with security. We ride around Miami with sticks, nigga. That's it. That's how we play. I'm tired of you bitch-ass niggas going on this bitch acting like you niggas is tough and you niggas is gangster. You niggas hide up on the niggas from Atlanta, go around niggas in Atlanta, pay niggas, give niggas whatever the fuck they want just so niggas can be around you. I ain't got to do none of that, nigga. I'm really thugging, nigga. Stop playing with me, nigga. Don't say nothing else to my bitch, nigga. That's my last time saying this shit, nigga. I'm telling you. Or you gonna have a real problem on your hands. Herb can't save you. Mansky can't save you. Watt can't save you. Nobody can't save you. I want my head up, nigga. I want my fade, nigga. You want to box Richard Kidd so bad? Come box me, you bitch ass. All right, so y'all just saw what um, Southside had to say, and um, he went off. He was not here for the foolishness. A lot of people were surprised to hear this because nobody heard about this whole fight slash robbery in public. So this must have been some behind the scenes shit. But I remember years ago, Uzi and Offset, they did have beef. If y'all don't know, Offset, you know, he's pretty religious, you know, regardless of his rap looks, he is a pretty religious man. And so he had a big problem with Uzi's um, upside down chain. You know, Uzi's always been um, promoting that devil lifestyle. And that's one of the reasons why I can't be a big fan of his because he's always promoted it real blatantly. Now, it seems like he slowed down, but who knows? You know, the only reason why I even pay him any type of attention right now is because he's dating JT and I'm seeing a different side of him. But back when he first came out, he was on that shit heavy, worshiping Marilyn Manson. And I think a lot of the rappers weren't feeling it. And Offset was just bold enough to call it out. So Offset had called it out and Uzi felt the way. So then what happened is that Uzi took to his um, Instagram page and he, he drew an upside down cross and he wrote 6-6. Six, six, and then he tagged Offset in the damn picture. So then they got into it in the shade room. So Offset wrote and he says, I'll pray for you, my brother. And then Uzi comes back and he says, in trap church, huh? I'm going to pray for you. And then he used a little devil emoji. So they've been kind of beefing off and on. I remember it even got crazy because XXX jumped into it and said that Offset was hating. He's old and all this other stuff. So it kind of got messy. So I'm assuming 
that if they fought and I said, you know, did what he did, it happened around this time. You know, I said, you're not going to wear that damn devil necklace around me, bitch. That devil necklace is coming with me and maybe he took it and threw it in the fire. Who knows? But, you know, let me go ahead and, you know, put on my bonnet of salvation. We're going to keep both these brothers in prayer and hopefully, you know, they've gotten past this. Okay. The whole situation is a mess and Southside is messy as hell for even putting it out there. Now, my issue is this. I don't believe him and Carisha are together. And right now she's trending because of all this drama Carisha is trending right now on Twitter. I believe they broke up about maybe a year after she had their daughter. So they're not together. So she's his baby's mother. I don't like the fact that he keeps addressing her as my bitch. My bitch this, my bitch that. That is the mother of your child. If you're trying to have her back, address her with a little bit more respect because the way you address her and the way you put that relationship and that energy out there is how other men will address her and treat her. If you're treating her like some bitch and calling her that, why should any other man have respect for her when you don't have respect for her as her baby's father? So I didn't like the way he was, you know, I understand trying to defend her, but all that, my bitch, this might like, come on, bro. It ain't that serious. I wasn't feeling that either. Both these guys were kind of talking crazy. So now, of course, you know, JT has something to say. She's really upset about this situation because she feels like it's always something. She's finally found happiness. And it's like, look at everybody now trying to cause drama between her and Carisha. So this is just kind of sad. Y'all go ahead and check this out. Ha, ha, ha. Y'all bitches mad. Y'all niggas mad. And the first thing y'all want to say is what a nigga by me. Bitch, this my motherfucking nigga I work for, bitch. I fuck for it. Nah. They ain't got nothing to do with that motherfucking clip. What I'm mad about is I was trying to take the phone from him because I already knew what y'all pussy asses was going to do. And I already know that he was playing with her. But he was a little too loud. And I wasn't going to snatch his motherfucking phone from him on live. So then y'all can say me and him tussling. I wasn't going to disrespect him, call him no fuck niggas or get loud with him because he was playing. He didn't say nothing wrong. He was just talking loud. He was just overhyped, doing the most, being himself. Y'all got so much hate in y'all heart for him. Y'all ain't got to fuck him. Y'all ain't got to like him. Y'all ain't got to look at him. Y'all ain't got to even look at me. Get the fuck on. Bye. Bye. Get off dick. First thing. Oh, what he buy you? Worry about what y'all nigga buying y'all, which is nothing. Stop watching my page. How you even know he buy me shit? Dick sucking assholes. Ciao. <laughs> So y'all just heard what JT had to say, honey. Then she went on to social media and she went on to say this. So this is what JT had to say. Now, she's since deleted her page. She's really upset. So once again, she's committed Twitter side, okay, for like the 15th time this year. But before she committed Twitter side, she said this. All y'all want is a show. Nobody ain't going to do shit to nobody. He was joking. Fuck who don't believe it. Then she says, don't let nobody disrespect her. Never did, never will. But y'all will feel I did again from the bottom of my heart. Fuck y'all. Then she says, trying to make it look like she's crying. Y'all are so fucking sick, it's sad. Then she says, trying to paint me as a bad friend. So bad off of alive. We just left Zuma. Uzi hype as shit off the 1942. But like I said, fuck whoever don't believe he was joking. Then somebody says, JT, you should have laid him or made him end the live right there and then. Love ain't that serious. And she says, for what? So y'all can say we arguing and fighting? Nah, I'm good. He's good. No problems. Take that live how you want to take it. I'm blocking you. Bye. Then she says, and I called you right back once I got upstairs and got on his ass for even being extra. Uzi know, the world know. You know how I'm coming about you. Then somebody else says, go live and cuss them out. We know you love your girl, babe. And she says, I'm mad too. I'll cry for real. I don't play by her. And people are always trying to pin us against each other from looks to verses, not my relationship, when honestly, it's no issue. Shit is just nutty. I'm tired. Then she says, ain't a dollar worth a bitch thinking they gonna make me look Thinking they're going to make me look bad, bitch. I know how hard I go for mine behind the scenes. Y'all can kiss my ass. So yesterday, after everything went down, Carisha had wrote, I'm not sad or crying. Y'all got me fucked up. And then somebody else sent her a message. It's since been deleted. But she said, me crying? For what? Y'all got me confused. And then she says, I can't tell y'all. 
we will laugh later. So that is what Young Miami had to say. And that's what, you know, JT was addressing. You know, she was really hurt because she feels like people are constantly trying to pin them against each other and she's tired of it. So now little Uzi, he's also addressed the situation as well because like I said, this is viral right now all over social media. So somebody had replied back to Uzi and they said, no, the way you was talking to JT though, not cool. Then Uzi replies back and he says, I never treated a woman how I treat JT. I'll literally die for her. Was just playing, y'all are dragging it. Then somebody else says, LOL, don't talk to Carisha like that. He says, that's my girlfriend's best friend. I was playing with her and she always cusses me out. And then he went on to say, I can't do shit right. So since Southside has come out, going off and cussing you know, him out, um, little Uzi has not replied back. So this entire situation is a hot damn mess. Hopefully, they'll be able to figure this out. I just don't want these men to come in between these two ladies. Um, they've been through a lot. You know, they they lucked up. They got their career. JT went away for a while. Carisha held it down. Now they're both out. Carisha's mother just got out of prison. She was in prison for five years for a hit and run. So it seems like things are going better for both of them. You know, JT has found love. She seems to really be in love with Uzi, and he's really in love with her. You know, I think maybe the way he was talking to her was a little bit, you know, sour, but I guess he was drunk is what she's saying. And it's just crazy how the Migos' name is just, you know, they they just been tied into a lot of shit all week. It's Friday. They've been tied to shit ever since Monday. I'm like, damn, I know that PR team's working overtime, honey, to clean up this damn mess. So anyways, y'all, let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Let me know your thoughts on all this drama concerning the City Girls, Uzi Verse, Southside jumping into it, and then all this stuff that's going on with the Migos and Southside saying that Offset tried to rob Uzi. Let me know your thoughts on everything. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to share the video. Make sure you thumbs up the video. Last but not least, make sure you hit that notification bell so that we can be down with the notification squad. I'll talk to y'all later. Deuces.